to sit at the table with us? No, sir. Okay, well, we'll be over here if you change your mind. Alexis, can you please do your homework? I don't want to. Please, no. Hi, Karen. I appreciate you coming in. Uh, I wanted to discuss a few things with you about Alexis. Um, she appears to be disengaged both in school and with her classmates. Um, I'm concerned about her. She's been disengaged at home too, and I, I don't know what to do. I just want to help her. The loss of her father has been really tough, and she's having a really hard time adjusting. I think Alexis would really benefit from seeing an occupational therapist. Uh, she could offer some strategies that will help her uh, get through this difficult time. Uh, would you like me to get you her contact information? If you think that would help, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Karen. I'm Susan, the OT. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm just a little stressed about my daughter, Alexis. I understand. Uh, can you tell me what's been happening with Alexis? Yeah, well, my husband, or Alexis's father, passed away a few months ago, and Alexis no longer seems interested in anything. And her and her father are really close. They did arts and crafts, played sports, and watched TV together most nights. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't want to do any of those things with me, and now her teacher is telling me the same thing. I'm afraid she'll fall behind with her friends to get better. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, I would love to have Alexis work with me and my OTA PTA Lauren. Uh, to help Alexis participate in those hobbies again. Uh, we will work on activities uh, that will hopefully pique those interests again and work on cognition along with helping her deal with the loss of her father. That sounds great. Alexis, my name's Lauren and I'm working with your mom and Susan who you met earlier today. How are you today? Your mom was telling me that you like to play some games. Can you tell me your favorite game? No? Okay, how about you show me? We don't have to do a lot of talking. Can you pick one of these games that you want to play? The cards? Good choice. I don't know a whole lot of card games. Can you maybe teach me one? Play a goldfish? Oh, okay. I played it a couple times, but you might have to remind me of the rules. Are we allowed to look at these cards? Mm -hmm. Oh. So... You have to match the numbers. You have to ask the person if they have the card that you need so that you can get the same card. But I already have matched, so I have to pick up. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna ask you, do you have a two? And I say, no. You say go fish. Go fish? Okay, go fish. And pick up. Now it's your turn. Okay. Do you have an ace? Go fish. Okay, and then I pick up a card? Awesome. Do you have a jack? No, go fish. Do you have a 10? Go fish. Okay, so I have a match. I put it down. Okay, and then is it your turn? Mm -hmm. Do you have a 6? Yes. Wow, you're pretty good at this game. Who taught you how to play? My dad. Nice. Did you and your dad do like a lot of things together? We used to play lots of games, but we played goldfish all the time. Oh, nice. Was it his favorite? Yeah. So I was thinking we could contact the adolescent psychologist in the hospital and talk to her about Alexis. Maybe CBT would be beneficial to her. That's a good idea. I'll get the number for you. Thank you. I was also thinking we can make some environmental modifications at Alexis's school. Uh, so I spoke with her teacher and suggested that Alexis should take her tests in an independent room and look at their into their big sister program to help Alexis with her homework. Awesome. Okay, I'll mention those changes to Alexis next time I see her. Great, thank you. Okay. So Alexis, Susan, the OT, talked to your teachers and they made some changes to your school schedule. You'll be able to write your tests in a room that there will be no distractions and you can focus. They also signed you up for the Big Sister Big program, which is after school to help you with your homework one-on-one. -on -one. How does that sound to you? I guess that'll be okay. Okay, so we'll try it out, see how it goes. Today, I wanted to do something different. We're gonna use a sketchbook just to draw in color. Is that okay with you? Okay, I'm gonna give it to you. We have the pencils here. We can pick whatever color you want. And you can use the sketchbook every day if you like. You can draw a color, even write down how you're feeling. 
Have you done a lot of coloring in the past? Me and my dad used to do it. Oh, nice. What did you and your dad like to draw together? Like animals. Nice. Well, maybe you can continue drawing every day and we can draw some memories that you guys had together. Okay. Awesome. And you can even bring that home with you, okay? So if you can do it on when you're bored or when you're feeling lonely and maybe draw some pictures of them. Okay. I'm worried that Alexis will forget about her dad and all the good memories they shared together. Well, it's important to remember what Alexis values. Her dad is gone, but the memories are still there. We want to try and preserve these memories as best we can. How can we do that? Well, you mentioned that they used to do arts and crafts together. So there's one way we want to kind of introduce to you guys doing those same activities with her. What about old photos? Could we use those? That's another way to preserve a memory, to look through photos of Alexis and her dad, and you and your father before she was born, sharing funny stories, or even memories that you have with him. It's a great way to preserve those. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Alexis, we're gonna do some arts and crafts now, okay? Okay. Which one do you wanna do? Um, can you do this one? Yeah. Do you mind if I color with you? Sure. Thank you. I like to color with people. Yeah, me too. Alexis, look what I found in the basement, an old folder album. Do you want to look through it? Sure. Yeah, I'll let you do it. Look, that one's of you and your dad up at the cottage. Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah? that was fun. I like the swing. Yeah, you used to love that. And that's him and I after our first date. Who's this? That's your cousin. Oh, and there's your dad and his whole family and all his brothers and sisters. Do you remember all of them? Yeah. Yeah. You can hold on to this photo album if you want and look at the photos whenever you miss him. Okay. Okay.